हेलो वेलकम टू अरविंद सिंह एकेडमी कैसे हो बच्चों आज की क्लास सीरीज के लिए सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सीक्वेंस इन सीरीज एंड दिस इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट व्हाट इज योर सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज हाउ दे आर डिफाइंड एंड व्हाट आर देयर यूजेज कॉमन यूजेज राइट सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक का sequence and series which is also useful for competitive examination and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, a chapter which you have uh, been studied in class 10th as well but uh, you have studied in class 10th only about the arithmetic progression and here there is an extension of arithmetic progression there after geometric progression some special sequence as well and uh, further for je examination uh, there will be a topic uh, like uh, arithmetic geometric series harmonic series and some other special sequences also but here uh, for class 11th we have to uh, study here arithmetic progression and geometric progression so let us start uh, today uh, about the sequence and series the introduction about what uh, is sequence and series and how to deal with the sequence and series so the topic is sequence and series so we are going to start today so of course this is a very first lecture and you will be able to understand it what is sequence and what is series so let me discuss uh, what is the sequence what is sequence sequence is an arrangement of sequence is an arrangement of <coughs> elements sequence is an arrangement of arrangement of elements elements it may be numbers it may be function as well arrangement of elements under certain rule certain rule define or well defined rule you can say well defined rule you can say it can be described as well defined pattern so it can be like a well defined rule well defined pattern certain rule anything must be there but there must be certain uh, rule in which uh, terms are defined so arrangement of elements in which there are certain rules are associated for example a simple sequence i can write here the numbers natural numbers even uh, say 1 2 3 4 5 6 isn't it so you can say easily what will be the next number if i will ask you will say that 7 and what will be the number there after you will say 8 and like that so there is one more than the previous number so you can say this is a particular arrangement and in which the successor is um, one more than its predecessor right now so you can say it is there is no problem and uh, next number will be always one more than the previous one so this is a pattern similarly if someone write here like 10 20 30 40 then you will say what will be the next number easily one can say the next number is 50 because it is 10 more than the previous number right now so it is a pattern in which this number is given and so this is called sequence another can be like 1 2 4 8 16 and there is also a pattern associated in it and you can say the next number is double of the previous number so that is also a rule which is associated and you can define it it is a sequence also there can be like 1 4 9 16 25 what will be the next number you will say that 36 how you can come to know that you will say that here the numbers are squares of natural numbers 1 square this is 2 square this is 3 square then 4 square 5 square so what will be the next 6 square so these all are sequence uh, and there are many thousands millions of uh, such patterns are there uh, which can be considered as sequence but in each of every sequence there must be certain pattern and 
they all are this sequence because there is some pattern associated in it. So these all are sequence. These all are sequence because above all are sequence because they are written on a specific certain pattern. All of the above are sequence. Sequence as they are on a specific a specific pattern pattern right so the elements this can be described so on the pattern if you know the pattern you will be able to write the next term so the terms are the terms of sequence are terms of sequence are or elements of sequence are sequence are the elements of sequence are denoted as denoted as a1 a2 a3 like this right a1 means first element a2 means second element of the sequence a3 is third element of the sequence so where uh, a1 a2 a3 etc where a1 a2 a3 represents first second third elements of elements or terms of sequence right now elements of sequence sequence right now so clearly a n is uh, nth term so therefore a n represent denotes nth term of the sequence nth term of sequence right now nth term of sequence what is n n is a variable quantity that can be first second third right now so this is called nth term of sequence is called general terms general terms right now general term a n is denoted as general term so wherever a n is written it means it is a general term and if you will put n is equal to 1 to 3 you will be able to find first second third fourth fifth etc any number of terms right now even 100 terms then you will write n is equal to 100 in place of that and then definitely you will be able to understand that what is the 100 term of the sequence so what about the series Suppose if it is written that a n is written, let me write here. If it is written that a n is, suppose a n is given like 3 n plus 5, right now. Clearly, nth term is a function of n, right now. Clearly, nth term, nth term of sequence is a, fax, is a function of n, is a function of n right now it depends on n only so it is a function of n so suppose if i have to write a 10 means 10th term of the sequence then what i'll do i'll put here n is equal to 10 plus 5 that is 35 so 35 is answer and what will be the first term second term third term etc so we can put n is equal to 1 2 3 etc you will be able to get it the first term, second term, third term, etc. So a1 will be 3 into 1 plus 5 is 8. a2 will be 3 into 2 plus 5 is 11. And so on, you can write here. Right now, a3 will be 3 into 3 plus 5, that is 14. So it can be. It is not only the quadrated, but if a n is equal to, if a n is described as like a 3 n square, it can be 3 n square plus 5 n minus 11. Then also the sequence here a 1 can be calculated as 3 into 1 square plus 5 into 1 minus 11. So that will be 3 plus 5, 8, 8 minus 11 is minus 3. 8 minus 11 is minus 3. So here minus 3 will be there. Right now. Similarly, if I would like to calculate what would be a2, then a2 can be calculated as uh, 3 into 2 square plus 5 into 2 minus 11. That is 4, 3 is 12. 12 plus 10, 22 minus 11 is 11. So if this one is negative, a2 is positive. 
Similarly, you can calculate A3. A3 is what? 3 into 3 is Q. 3 into 3 square plus 5 into 3 minus 11. 9 3 is 27 and 27 plus 15 minus 11 that is 4. So, 27 plus 4 is 31. So, etc. So, An is if it is given then we can find any term of the sequence and that is why An is called general term. General term of the sequence and general term is nothing else but it is represented in terms of An. So, this is called general term. Now, what about series? Uh, series, if it is sequence, then what about series? Series is nothing else but series. What about series? So, have you seen uh, the bulb which is uh, decorated in the Pauli? There are so many bulbs connected with one another and they are forming a series. So, series is the combination of terms of sequence. Series is, is a combination of combination of series is a combination of terms of a sequence. Series is a combination of terms of a sequence. Like uh, for example, a series is like uh, if I have written here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 like that, then this is a series. If it is written that 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus, then it is a series. So, if terms are like, if terms are represented as, represented as A1, A2, A3, etc., then series is series is given by given by a1 plus a2 plus a3 like that this is the series and if it is written up to n then we can say this is a series up to sum of n terms so that can be which represent the sum of series terms of n terms that represent sum of n terms of the series n terms of the series, n terms of the sequence, sequence, right now that will mean series, sum, sum is already series, so sum of n terms of sequence, that can be represented as, that can be represented as sigma, this symbol is sigma, sigma a n n is equal to 1 to n. The symbol is called sigma. This is symbol is called sigma. Sigma. Right now? The symbol is called sigma. Sigma a n where n is equal to 1 to n. So, therefore, either if it is written a n like this, then it meaning is if a n sigma n is equal to 1 to n, I represent wherever it is written, the sum of first n terms of the sequence, n terms of sequence, right, that is a1, meaning is a1 plus a2 plus a3 up to a n, this is what the meaning of this and it is represented as sigma. So, uh, these are few things which you have to keep in mind. Now, let us uh, solve some questions because only theory will be boring. So, some questions, some numerical problems are there and uh, let us discuss them uh, so that you will be able to understand these two things and how to evaluate the terms, any particular terms of the sequence or how can you generate the sequence if rules are given. So, rules are given, then you can generate the sequence under the given rule and if uh, rules are already uh, given, uh, terms are given, then you can associate the rule uh, related to it also. So, let us solve some questions and this is a exercise 9.1 from your booklet NCRT. This exercise uh, 9.1 
it is just an elementary uh, giving the elementary knowledge of the chapter so it is very easy but even then uh, just to create the concept of those students who have not uh, studied well in class 10 i am going to solve it so don't worry those who know they will enjoy but those who do not know they will learn so definitely uh, here uh, the first question i am it is given that write the first five terms just introduction as i told you write the first five terms first five terms of each of the sequence of each of the sequence sequence each of the sequence each of the sequence sequences from 1 to 5 whose nth term are given whose nth term are given are given right now so here is uh, this is instruction for question number 1 to question number 1 to 6 question number 1 to question number 6 right so this is equation number 1 to question number 6 okay so let us deal with this question all these questions these are very easy one but still you need to know and the first question is given here an is equal to n into n plus 2 it is given and you have to write first five terms right now so you have to put n is equal to 1 2 3 putting n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 for first five terms for first five terms of the sequence five terms right now so what will be that a1 will be 1 into 1 into 1 plus 2 that is 3 into 1 that is 3 a2 is equal to 2 if you put 2 into 2 plus 2 what is that 4 to the 8 similarly a3 a3 can be calculated as a3 is 3 into 3 plus 2 that is 15 a4 is what 4 into 4 plus 2 4 to 6 and 6 4 is 24 and a5 is nothing else but 5 into 5 plus 2 so what is that 5 to 7 7 5 is 35 so first five terms of the sequence are 3 8 15 24 and 35 so these are first five terms so i hope you got it just put n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 now the second question is there similar like the second question is given an is equal to n upon n plus 1 so again putting n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 you will get it right now so what will be a1 1? 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 a2 is 2 upon 2 plus 1 that is 2 by 3 a3 is 3 by 4 a4 is 4 by 5 isn't it if you put 4 4 plus 1 5 always one more than this a5 is what 5 by 6 and therefore first five terms first five terms are what is that 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 4 4 by 5 and 5 by 6 right now so like this this is each one you can do that and it is not a big deal of doing that but somewhere uh, maybe something like a n is given that 2 to the power n so a 1 will be what 2 2 to the power 1 that is 2 a 2 is <coughs> 2 square right now a 3 is 2 cube you can write it a 4 <coughs> is 2 to the power 4 and a 5 is 2 to the power 5 and therefore <coughs> a5 is 2 to the power 5 like this so therefore first five terms are five terms of the sequence of the sequence are 2 4 
8, 16, 32, right? 2, 4, you can calculate it. 2 a square is 4, 2 cube is 8. Now, the next question is question number 4. Let me solve them. Question number 4. And this is 3. 3 and this one is 4. Not Roman, but it is actual question 4. So, fourth question is given here. A n is equal to 2 n minus 3 upon 6. 2 n minus 3 upon 6. So, accordingly, uh, you put when n is equal to 1 to 3, what will be a 1? A 1 will be 2 into 1 minus 3 upon 6. That is minus 1 by 6. And similarly, what will be a 2, a 3, a 4? Let me write it directly. If you put 2, 2 to the 4 minus 3, that is 1 by 6. A3 is 3 into 2, 6. 6 minus 3 is 3 by 6, that is 1 by 2. A4 is nothing else but 4 into 2, 8, 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 by 6. And A5 is 5 into 2, 10, 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 by 6. So, first 5 terms are 5 terms of sequence of the sequence R, A, sequence R. 1 by 6 minus plus 1 by 6, 1 by 2, 5 by 6 and 7 by 6, etc. Similarly, uh, if you can solve, try to solve question number 5, then what is question number 5? It is given that a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1, 5 to the power n plus 1. So, if you put a 1, then minus 1 to the power 0 and anything power 0 is 1 except 0. So, 5, 1 plus 1, that is 2. 5 square is 25. What will be a 2? If it will be 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 1 to the power minus 1 is, minus 1 to the power 1 is minus, isn't it? And 2 plus 1 is 3. So, that will be 5 to the power 3 is minus 125. If I write a 3, then 3 minus 1 is 2. So, minus 1 to the power 2, that is even, it will be always plus. And here if you will put 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 means 625. Similarly, A4 is minus because 4 minus 1 is 3. So, the term will be negative minus 1 to the power and odd number will always give a negative number value. And uh, 3, 4 plus 1 is 5, that is what? Uh, 3, 1, 2, 5. So, 3, 1, 2, 5, isn't it? And similarly, A5 is, if I put 5 here, 5 minus 1 is 4. Minus 1 to the power 4 is positive number and 5 to the power 5 plus 1 6. And if you multiply by 6, this is 15, 625, isn't it? So, first 5 terms are therefore 5 terms of sequence. Therefore, 5 terms of sequence are 5 terms of the sequence are sequence are 25 minus 125 625 minus 3125 and 1525 right now 15625 okay i hope you got it or uh, you can write it like this in sequence 525 minus 125 625 minus 3125 like that so minus 3, 1, 2, 5 and 15, 6, 25. These are sequence. So, we can write first 5 terms of the sequence. It can be anyway uh, in terms of uh, series and in terms of positive or negative alternate sign can be depending upon the value. Right. And the next question is, 6 question is given here and that is given that a n is equal to a n into a n square plus 5 by 4. Again, you will do the same thing. A1 will be 1, 1 square, 1 plus 5, 6 by 4, that is 3 by 2. A2 is nothing else but 2 into 2 can cancel this 2 times and 2 square 4 plus 5, 9 by 2. A3 is nothing else but if you put here 3 square 9, 9 plus 5, 14 and 14 into 3 is 42 by 4, that is 21 by 2, right? Similarly, uh, no, no, no. 43, not here. 3 square is 9, 9, 5, 14 and 14 by 
4 that is 7 by 2 7 by 2 and 7 multiplied with 3 is 21 by 2. yes that's correct 21 by 2 <coughs> okay a4 is equal to 4 4 cancel 4 square 16 plus 5 is 21 and here 5 if you put 5 then what will happen if you put 5 then 5 square 25 plus 5 30 that is 15 by 2 and 15 multiplied by 5 is 75 by 2. So you can have the first 5 terms of sequence are therefore first 5 terms 5 terms of sequence are 3 by 2, 9 by 2, 21 by 2, 21 and 75 by 2. So depending upon this, there is not a specific but certain rule must be associated and rule is this, right? So these are few questions uh, which uh, you got here and uh, definitely uh, you understood it uh, that what is the rule and how the terms of the sequence can be written. Now there are several other questions are there. It is given here for instruction for rest of the question. Find the indicated term. Indicated term. Terms in each of the following. Terms in each of the each of the sequence. Each of the sequence. Sequences whose nth term are given, whose nth term, nth terms are given, right. So this is a question uh, from, this is instruction given for question number 7 to 10, that is instruction given for 7 to 10, right. So what will be that? <coughs> question number 7, starting from question number 7, and this is question number 7 is given that a n is equal to 4 n minus 3 and you have to find a 17 and a 24 a 17 and a 24 so a 17 is in place of n we will put 17 so 4 into 17 minus 3 right now 4 into 17 minus 3 that is 65 and a 24 is what so 4 into 24 minus 3 24 4 is 96 and 96 minus 3 is 93 so that will be answered now similarly in question number 8 9 10 can be deal okay. question number 8 is given a n is equal to a n square upon 2 to the power n and you have to find a 7 so a 7 is nothing else but 7 square upon 2 to the power 7 49 upon 128 that will be answered right now. so we can write question number 9 and question number 9 is here that a n is given minus 1 this is just an introductory chapter as I told you n q right now. so this is a question n q so if you want to write a 9 a 9 you have to write a 9 it means a 9 is equal to put n is equal to 9 minus 1 to the power 8 and 9 q minus 1 to the power 8 is an even number and 9 q is 729 so that will be answer i hope you got it okay now question number 10 is given <coughs> and for question number 10 it is given that a n is equal to n into n minus 2 whole divided by n plus 3 and you have to find a 20 a 20 right now so what will happen if you write a 20 then that will be uh, a 20 is nothing else but 20 into 18 20 minus 2 18 and 20 plus 2 3 is 23 so this is 360 upon 23 that will be answer so i hope all, you got all these things and how to deal with them and definitely you understood this all how this can be derived and uh, this can be dealt with. What is sequence and what is series? So these are easy questions. Huh? I hope you got it. So let us discuss some more questions about uh, this topic and some more questions are given here that uh, uh, question number 11. Write the five first five terms of each of the sequence from 11 to 13 
and open the corresponding series. So I hope this is the same question, uh, right? It is the given here from 11 to 13. 11 to 13 question. It is given that <coughs> write the first five terms of the sequence. Write the first five terms of the sequence. Five terms of the sequence. Right now. So you did it. Sequence and obtain the corresponding series. Obtain the corresponding series. The corresponding series. Right. Question number 11 is given. Just let me solve one question and then you will be able to solve it. A1 is 3 given. And a n is given three times of a n minus one plus two, right? For all n is greater than one. So here some rules are associated, and that rules are described. That first term of the sequence is given, but thereafter every term can be obtained by putting uh, the relationship of first term, second term, and so on. So if I put a two n is equal to because n is defined for greater than 1. So, a2 will be what? If I put here n is equal to 2, then this will be 3 times of a1 plus 2 and a1 is 3. So, 3 into 3 plus 2 that is 11. Similarly, a3, if I put n is equal to 3, then 3 times of a2 plus 2 and 3 times of 11. a2 is 11 plus 2 that is 35. So, each one of the term depends on the value of previous term here. A4 is 3 into A times of 4 minus 3 that is A3 plus 2 and that is 3 into 35 plus 2 that is 107 and A5 is what 3 into A4 plus 2 that is 3 into 107 plus 2 so 323. Right now, 323. So, therefore, first five terms, five terms of the sequence are, sequence are, what, 3, 11, 35, 107 and 323. Right now, so that will be answers and uh, hopefully you got it. This is not a big deal. Now, question number 12. And 12 is also the similar one, like uh, it is given that a1 is equal to minus 1 and a n is given that a n minus 1 whole divided by n for n is greater than or equal to 2. It is written like this, n is greater than or equal to 2. So definitely this will be defined for 2 and more than 2. So what will be 2? 2 is a2 is a1 by 2 that is minus 1 by 2. A3 is what? A2 by 3. N is 3. So, what will be A2? Minus 1 by 2 divided by 3 is minus 1 by 6. A4 is what? So, A3 by 4. And A3 is minus 1 by 6 divided by 4 is minus 1 by 24. And A5 is what? A5 is A4 divided by 5 that is minus 1 by 120. So, first five terms of the sequence are here, first five terms, five terms of sequence, corresponding sequence are given like minus 1 by 2, minus 1, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 6, minus 1 by 24 and minus 1 by 120. So, five terms of sequence are like this, we can write they are not, uh, not asking about series, so why should I write series? Similarly, for question number 13, if it is given like here, um, question number 13, if it is given that a1 is equal to a2 plus 2, a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 2, both are same, a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 2 and an is equal to even here a n is equal to a n minus 1 minus 1 for n greater than 2. Means it is defined for more than 2, a 1 and a 2 are given. So we can write a 3, a 3 is what? a 2 minus 1, a 2 is 2 minus 1 that is 1, 
a4 is what? a3 minus 1, a3 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 and a5 is what? a5 is a4 minus 1 that is 0 minus 1 minus 1. So first 5 terms, 5 terms of sequence are here, 5 terms of sequence are starting from 2, 2 like that. 2, 2, 1, 0 and minus. So these are the first 5 terms. I hope you got it. Okay. Now uh, let us solve few more questions that is given in this exercise so that it will be completed. And now the questions come from uh, question number 14. And this is a question number 14. This is given that Fibonacci sequence is defined as the Fibonacci Fibonacci sequence is defined as sequence is defined as with this question they wanted to tell you one knowledge defined by 1 is equal to a1 is equal to a2 and a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 for a n is greater than 2. This is called Fibonacci sequence, right now. A n is greater than 2. Find a n plus 1 upon a n for a n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. So we have to uh, write n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So since in solution we can write the solution a n plus 1 by a n and for n is equal to 1 let me write here. for n is equal to 1 this although it is given here uh, that uh, a n let me write for a 3 a 4 a 5 what will be that since a n is given that a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 for n is equal to greater than 2 so a 3 will be what a3 is if you put 3 3 minus 1 is 2 a2 and 3 minus 2 is a1 so it is given that 1 plus 1 a1 and a2 both are 1 so that is 2 a4 will be a3 plus a2 and a3 is 2 and a2 is 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 a5 is nothing else but uh, a4 plus a3 that is 3 plus 1 which is 4 and a6 is a5 plus a5 plus a4 and a5 is 4 and a3 is a3 is a3 is 2 wait, 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 sorry. a4 is a3 plus a2 and a3 is 2 and a2 is 1 so 3 a4 is a3 a4 plus a3, a4 is 3 and a3 was 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, that will be 5 and a6 is a5 plus a4, a5 is what, 5 and a4 is what, a5 is 5 and a4 was 3, so 5 plus 3 is 8. Now we have to calculate here also it is given that find let me write this here a n is equal to 1 if I will put here 1 then this will be a2 by a1 so therefore a2 by a1 is given a2 by a1 is what a2 is 1 by 1 that is 1 and a3 for n is equal to 2 that will be a3 by a2 a3 by a2 is a3 is 2 and a2 is 1 so 2 and a4 upon a3 is what a4 is 3 and a2 is a3 is 2 so 3 by 2 right similarly a4 upon a5 a4 upon a5 a5 upon a4 is what next two terms will be a4 
a5 upon a4 equal to 5 a5 is 5 a4 is 3 so 5 by 3 and when we will put n is equal to 5 then it will be a6 by a5 so a6 by a5 can be calculated as 8 by 5 that will be answer so all of them are answers of this question so hopefully you got all these things and you have enjoyed this topic uh, the basic knowledge what is given here and i am very much sure that you understood this and this is a eji bachcha wala hai na aur lekin fir bhai chalo acha hai basic sikhne ke liye bahut zaruri hai ek concept hai jo aapko aana chahiye aur ye agar concept develop ho gayi to aage kaam aayega so thank you thank you very much please share and subscribe this channel and uh, watch uh, with your friends as well thank you